It's viewer's choice today on App Judgment, and apparently you're all a bunch of thieving pirates. Which is cool with me. So let's take control of your torrents with Transdroid for the Android. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Dyn Inc. Hey, welcome to App Judgment, your premier source of mobile application reviews and news. I'm Mauricio Balvanera. Now, before we begin, let's get one thing straight. Torrents and torrent clients are not illegal. Not one bit. I mean, let's take a look inside one of those uh, tiny torrent files and see if we can find any nefarious items. Uh, let's see, we've got um, announce. That's just literally a URL pointing at a tracker. Uh, we've got um, name. That's just what it sounds like. It's just the name of the file and directory, directories where files will be saved. Uh, piece length. Uh, uh, pieces, yeah, there's nothing illegal in here. It's just a bunch of computer science-y metadata. Uh. <clears throat> okay, so now what is illegal are the files that these torrents point to, or to be more specific, the act of transferring copywritten material from peer to peer. Things you were supposed to pay for but didn't. So let's be honest with ourselves. Stealing is stealing. You know it when you're doing it based on today's sometimes ambiguous copyright laws. It's really just a matter of what your moral stance is. But I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to teach you how to make your torrent workflow better with Transdroid for the Android. Here's the scenario. Theoretically, you're at work or on the road and you've got an itch to theoretically watch that screener of big indie award winning movie making the rounds. Theoretically making the rounds, of course. Don't theoretically download Hurt Locker. If you kick off the torn at work, not only are you putting your office and livelihood in danger, but when you get home just in time for the file to finish, the file is at work. Theoretically. And if you're on the road, as awesome as the HDMI output on the HTC EO is, you don't want to transfer a large file to the phone. It just doesn't make sense. What Transdroid does is allow you to search for and start a torrent at home while you're away, keeping a torrent client and computer that may otherwise be lonely and bored, organized and happily working, theoretically. Now, stay with me because this isn't a matter of simply downloading the free app and off you go. There's a decent amount of setup required, but trust me, it's well worth it and I'm gonna make it as painless as possible. The first thing we're gonna do is download one of these compatible torrent clients. Now, I'm a Mac user and partial to transmission. These instructions are gonna be specific to transmission, but the concept is the same for all clients, so don't sweat it too much. So in transmission, open up your preferences and click on the remote tab and enable remote access. Turn on authentication and assign a username and password of your choosing. Now, you don't have to set up authentication, but do it. Now, take note of the listening port here and test drive the page by launching the web interface. All good? Good, okay. Now, assuming you don't have a static IP address at home, head over to DynDNS.com and sign up for a free DynDNS account. If you don't know what a static IP address is, don't worry about it. That probably means you don't have one and that's totally okay. What DynDNS does, to put it simply, is it kind of gives you a permanent mailing address so that Transdroid always knows how to contact your computer at home. Okay, scroll down to free domain name and decide on your new URL. If you don't already have an account, it's gonna ask you to sign up. Once you're set up, you're done and can exit DynDNS.com. Just keep your new custom URL and login handy. Now, while you're at home on the computer that's gonna be your workhorse, log into your network's router. This typically means going to your web browser and entering 192.168.1.1 or .0.1 or .0.0. Now, if you don't know what it is and those numbers don't work, just go to your network settings and look for the numbers listed under router or gateway. If you don't know what your password is, shame on you. It's probably admin password. Make sure you change those defaults. Now, once you're logged in, look for a tab called Dynamic DNS or DDNS. Most modern routers have this option available like my Linksys router shown here. When you find the tab, select 
DineDNS.org as the service and enter the brand spanking new domain name, username, and password you created earlier on DineDNS.com. Hit save and bask in the glorious affirmation page. Okay, now, while you're still in your router settings, look for a port forwarding, routing, or in my case, applications and gaming tab. Under application, just call it Transdroid. That'll help you later on when you're trying to figure out what the hell you're forwarding this port for. Starting port and ending port is 9091. That's the listening port you noted earlier in transmission. This number might be different if you're using another torrent client. IP address, grab the local IP address of the workhorse you're on, again from the network settings. Enable and save settings. Now bask once again in the glorious affirmation page. You're almost there, I promise. Okay, now on your Android, find and download Transdroid. Fire it up and add a new server. Give it a name. Under server type, select the BitTorrent client you decided on, in my case, again, Transmission. Under IP or domain name, enter either your static IP address or the Dyne DNS address you created earlier. The port will automatically be set to the client's default, again, 9091 in our case. Enter your transmission authentication username and password and pat yourself on the back because you're done. When you fire up the app now, you'll see a list of current files transferring at home. Okay, that was pretty intense and I don't apologize. This is your choice. This is viewer's choice. You asked for it. I would tell you all about the ability to search for torrents within the app for a vast list of torrent search sites, or perhaps the ability to manage current files that are uploading, downloading, or inactive, or the ability to manually add a torrent from a URL, your local file manager, or even a barcode. But alas, I'm out of time. And we're going to take a sec to thank our sponsor, Dine Inc. Very convenient. Dine Inc. operates two extremely reliable, rock-solid global DNS platforms. The DineDNS.com platform for home SMB users to do things like what we're doing today with Transdroid. And the Dynec platform for enterprise and fast growth organizations. Dine Inc. provides a full range of DNS services from domain registration to advanced traffic management solutions. Revision 3 even uses Dyn. Dine Inc. is making DNS sexy. Dine Inc. is proud to power the coolest brands on the web and is bringing the importance of reliable DNS to the mainstream. Visit www.dnsissexy.com to join the DNS is Sexy movement or tweet with the tag pound DNS is Sexy. Uptime is the bottom line. For more information about Dine Inc., visit www.dine.com slash revision3. We've taken care of all the heavy lifting. The rest is really just a wonderful exploration of awesome file management and discovery. Now, there are some downfalls to this application, like the freaking setup required. I also noticed that if the file errors out at home, Transdroid will give you no indication of said error. But the pros outweigh the cons, especially if you're managing a media PC at home like I am. This is definitely a download. I wouldn't lead you to a don't download after that whole mess we've been through. That would just be mean. All right, do you have an application request? Hit us up at appjudgment at revision3.com. You can also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and a magical place called appjudgment.com. By the way, no artist, filmmaker, or musicians were harmed in the making of this episode. There is, after all, legal torrents out there.